Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mallory Grande, for those of you who don't know me. I am 24 years old. I live in California, Southern California. And there's currently an airplane passing. All right, so yes, 24 years old, Southern California. And yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very important video that I wanted to make before continuing with posting any other videos. Uh, it's definitely something new in my life, new and old, but um, yeah, I just really felt the need to just really talk about this because it's been on my heart for a while and I just really wanna share um, such a vulnerable side of me through uh, my YouTube channel. I just really wanna be as transparent as I could be. Um, I know this is just a little um, like representation of what I'm like, but this is just, uh, I'm trying to be as real as it could be and, and that just means not really trying, just you know going for it, but um, yeah, anyways. So this is my testimony video on how uh, I came to accept Jesus as my savior um, and how like my life has just changed so much because of it and I just really just want to share I want to just keep this as a memory for myself and also um, just want my friends and family to be able to see um, because some of them don't know the whole story or you know I'm not I don't really sometimes get the opportunity to share the whole story so um, yeah <laughs> all right so uh, I'm just going to talk about from the moment that I got saved and a little bit about my past and what has happened since then so a little bit about my past um, I've always kind of been like the troubled child troubled child um, troublemaker uh, very needy for attention um, but also charismatic and funny <laughs> um, but yeah so I had a really good childhood you know my parents did unfortunately end up splitting up um, while I was young so that did affect me emotionally um, but nonetheless, I really had nothing to complain about because I still had a roof over my head and I had a mom who was a single mother at the time but loved me so much. Um, even though at times it was really hard for me to accept that. Um, I was just a troublemaker and I would just like fight with her all the time. And yeah. Um, and uh, I started to get really into like partying and I, I really still love to dance. like. I don't think that's something that will ever change about me. I really love to dance, but I started to look at partying and raves and festivals as the, as the only place that I can go to dance uh, to have a good time. And with that came me wanting to feel better while I was dancing. So that included alcohol, drugs, and um, like the, I just, all that comes with like that partying scene. So yeah. and. Um, with that I felt like it led to me feeling unfulfilled in my life I just want I was so attached to like going out and really being a party girl and just really trying to I guess fool myself and others into thinking that like I'm the life of the party here I was last year 23 years old about to turn 24 and for the first time in my 23 years of life at that time I found myself being depressed about where I was, who I was at the moment, and it just didn't really feel emotionally connected to myself. I was 23, about to turn 24, and I felt so lost. I felt out of touch with myself, and uh, for like a couple, like two months, I was just spiraling down, just being very negative, and allowing my mind to wander into those dry places. And I just uh, would remember that I would drive to work, and I would be crying, and. I would drive back from work and I would still be crying and I really wouldn't express to a lot of people how I was feeling and people that I did share with tried to comfort me but I just feel like like I just didn't feel understood and yeah, I was just uh, an emotional mess and um, and I was in search for something more um, and I know that you know I, I knew of God and I just never really had a relationship with him. I was just lost and I was I wanted to find myself there. So 
I went and on Saturday of the event there was there was a process done where uh, you really took a deep look into your future and what your life would be like if you were to continue being the same person um, that you were and allowing those limiting beliefs to stop you from doing what you really wanted to do and you know just it the process like really was uh, the challenge was to really deep dig deep into what your life could be like like you know if your if your um, fears came true if that makes any sense so basically where my mind wandered in that moment is I saw myself in a hospital bed and uh, I saw my mom um, come and see me and I just was like dying on the hospital bed and um, And I just remember thinking that all the relationships around me were ruined because I had ruined them and I just was an emotionally toxic person and and nobody really wanted to come and see me at the hospital but my mom came because she just felt bad for me and um, yeah it was just a really I don't know it was just really hard to, to It was really hard to, for me to like even go through that and uh, have to picture that and uh, yeah I was just I wish I can go into more detail but it just it doesn't really matter honestly um, so I know that I wanted more for my life and I know that I was just going through a crisis um, that's what it felt like at least at the moment and so during that moment, I just remember really surrendering to what I was feeling and I just wanted to get in touch with something and that like feeling of like God's presence like was just with me and I just knew like this is, this is God and um, I just remember really like feeling the comfort of like just knowing that everything was going to be okay and just oh, I can't even describe it. It was like it was like like God was like hugging me and like just comforting me and it's just like it's it, it not like a hug that you would ever be able to experience from like a human being it was like something so much greater and I just remember feeling like wow like what was that and like I was still like kind of just confused on how to like process that and so um yeah from that moment I define that moment as the moment that I got saved because I knew that God at that moment had come to save me that moment was really really something special for me and so after that I just really started to um, want that deeper relationship with God I started to pray more often and this is just all on my own pray more often just really started to think more about God and at this moment I didn't really think about like who Jesus was or you know what would Jesus had done for me I just didn't even know what the Holy Spirit was at that moment and um, I think God knew so he wanted me to get plugged in he wanted me to know those answers so I found someone on Instagram who I started following and just really got plugged into a church and um, started to get in touch and, and build relationships with people who were on their walk with God as well I discovered who Jesus Christ was and what he did for us and um, realized what the Holy Spirit was and realized how amazing it is to know that like if you look beyond yourself you look outside of just yourself and you connect yourself to a bigger purpose a higher purpose like there is just so many things that can change in your life and it's just it's crazy to think that you know like I feel even crazy talking about it but it's just the truth like like Jesus saved me and just like I can't even think about like what would have happened like where would I have been if I would have just stayed in that same place and um there's a lot of additional details that I'm kind of missing here, but um, I was able to just like remove myself from toxic relationships and um, as much as they hurt, like really, really hurt. And I never thought that I would be able to end these relationships. Um, uh, it was just so beneficial for me as far as for like my heart and my peace of mind 
to let go of that. Um, I remember this one time. Okay, so um, story time, I guess. I I was in a relationship last year around uh, kind of this time, yeah, around this time, and um, I just knew that the relationship wasn't for me. But I really loved um, who I was with at the time very, very much. I still do love him very much, and he's still my friend, and we're very close. Um, but after many times of trying to make it work, I just really came to a point to realize, like, okay, it's not gonna work in that way, and. Um, it was hard for me to get to a point where I felt okay with breaking it off and I had time we, we have tried it I have tried it like um, many times before that and yeah and so but this one time where it actually did happen I just remember like crying so so much and I was in the freeway just like crying my eyes out and just feeling like what is going on after we ended the relationship just kind of doubting if I had made the right choice like just really scared for the future because I had invested so much of myself emotionally into that relationship and um okay so yeah I was crying and I was like listening to worship music which like made me even more emotional and I just remember that presence again just like over me and just just hugged me again and like allowed me to calm down and and just um when I, I was in that moment I was just quiet about like the presence that I was feeling and I just I, I got reminded again of like how good God is and how much he loves me and like yeah he doesn't want me to suffer and then that moment I just kind of took it as like a trust me I know what I'm doing type of moment and yeah basically that's all, what I've been doing since that moment just surrendering being obedient even though at times I find it difficult because I was so attached to these things that I thought defined me as far as like drinking and partying and being the life of the party and just like <laughs> needing to satisfy others um yeah it was just a lot and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going through that where um, we feel like we need to be a certain type of person either because we feel uh, we need to be that or because other people have have like these expectations of us and so it's easily to it's easy to get wrapped up in that and so yeah I just really am now focused on finding my identity in Christ just like being a daughter and uh, being nice and like really kind to people and you know day by day I'm just taking it step by step but my life has completely changed guys and um, yeah it's like nothing I've ever experienced before and that's who I am that's who I am like I'm, I'm a daughter of Christ and I am really committed to just spreading his message and like giving up who I think I should be and who other people think I should be to be a daughter of Christ to be a follower so and to be a loyal servant that is that is what I want to be now and so um, that is what I've been doing for a couple of months now and um, almost for about a year now and it feels so good and it's definitely hard and challenging at times but I wouldn't trade it for anything and I wouldn't trade it for anything and um, yeah I, I really wanted to leave my old videos up because that is who I was at that moment and um, I don't really want to feel the need to like hide what who, what type of person I was like that is who I was and I still enjoy doing some of those things but I just don't do it with the same mentality as I did before like I don't know and I'll talk more about it in other videos um, but um, yeah this is mainly just wanted to share my video of how I came to really know and love Christ and accept him and be in his presence and be loyal and get plugged in and just oh, so many good things because just like God is like so so good I'm like bursting with energy right now but like God is so good and he's changed my life and it's just so amazing to know that 
this could have happened a lot sooner but anyways just beyond the point um i just really love god and i love jesus and i hope that you guys do too and if you don't you should honestly because he's just amazing and there is no greater love and getting to know that getting to realize that has let me go of so many other things in my life and it's just been life-changing and so it was so so important for me to post this video and just really share about the goodness of his love and just where I'm at as a person and um, yeah I really hope that you guys like it I, I there's so many different things that are happening in my life because of where I am now and so um, I definitely want to talk about the challenges and and the good and also just little different things that I'm um, exploring and learning as I'm on my walk and I definitely want to post about that as well along with adventure videos and just silly videos and so yeah I hope you guys stay tuned for what's to come uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and like this uh, video because <laughs> just like it okay um but yeah honestly thanks guys for watching this if you made it all the way to the end i appreciate it and yeah i i hope um god is blessing your your life in many different ways and um, i hope that you choose to accept him into your life if you haven't already and just know that i am praying for you um just anybody who just follows me and i just pray for the world always and i pray for kindness and peace so yeah guys Bye. God bless you. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone.